Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Gracie 1112 After 5 instrument. So the Gracie 1112 After 5 is um, pretty much the same as the Gracie 1112 Curette. So these are area specific Curettes. The only difference is that if you take a look, this is the After 5 uh, 1112 and this is your regular Gracie 1112 Curette. You see that the lower shank is actually a little bit longer uh, than the regular Gracie uh, 1112 Curette. So uh, because it has a longer um, lower shank, it actually can go and reach into those deep, hard to reach pockets. So uh, it is an excellent periodontal instrument. It is used uh, subgingively for periodontal pockets and it is for moderate to heavy calculus removal. And I'm gonna be showing you how to use it today. So now, first and foremost, we need to make sure that we are establishing the correct working end. And by doing so, we are going to place the instrument into approximately between the two premolars. And you can see that the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. And it creates a V um, at the uh, distal of that first premolar. So that is the V to the D. So that is how you know that that is the correct working end. Now it also hugs the mesial. So if you were to put it on the face of the tooth, it's going to hug the mesial. Now, if I were to place the wrong working end, now you see that the handle not only tilts this way, which is incorrect, um, but the lower shank, okay, is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, but you don't get that V going tor um, towards the distal. Now the V is pointing towards the mesial of that first premolar, and that is incorrect. And if you were to place it right on the face of the tooth, you see that the tip points outward, and that is incorrect. All right, so now that you know the correct working end, we're going to get to it. So first I'm gonna start by uh, getting, uh, starting at the distal line angle of uh, the molar and we are going to insert at zero degrees and go nice into the pocket and come around the tooth and, be, and as soon as you start approaching that um, line angle, you're going to roll into that uh, interproximal space and maintain that 70 to 80 degree angulation for calculus removal, making sure that you are adapting the toe third of the instrument at all times. So again, you dive into the pocket and you come across using vertical, horizontal, oblique strokes, um, just making sure that they are uh, controlled strokes. Okay, going all the way. And again, because this is a periodontal instrument, you can go very deep into those hard to reach pockets. making sure you are also keeping that lower shank as parallel as possible to the long axis of the tooth. Now I'm going to show you how to use this instrument on the lower left molars. Again, you start at the distal line angle. Go all the way into proximally. Remember, the coal is very important when you go into that interproximal space because that is where you um, mostly tend to leave calculus behind. And you see how I'm creating that 70 to 80 degree angulation. I'm kind of tilting the instrument, but I'm rocking on my fulcrum. That is what I need to remove the calculus, especially from that coal.
okay so again for molars and premolars only and uh, that is how you use the Gracie 1112 after five instrument if you like this video please click like and share and uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more